I would say a fairly high percentage and it's growing rapidly because I do speak to veterans and I'm, I'm pretty proactive for, for veterans. Um, so I would say maybe 10% 10, 10 right now are probably veterans, but it's building quickly um, because as the word gets out, more and more are going to be coming in. Yeah, I mean, people do have to wait, um, not terribly long right now because um, I try, I'm try. i trying to back off on, on my interventional pain and leave openings for, for this. But it's about a, a week to two weeks to come in and see me. But incumbent upon the patient is, is that they have to do all their uh, due diligence, do their paperwork and get that all into us. Sometimes that holds the patient up. Um, you, you would. You would not believe how unmotivated sometimes people are. And we, we send them emails, we have a website with all the forms. I don't know what else I can do to, to manage it. Um, the other thing that I did do is, as you saw, those patient videos. And that was very helpful for me to improve my efficiency. Therefore, I can open up more spaces so I can see more patients. So there was a reason why I did that. And I, I do think that that's a pretty unique site that I have because not many doctors show an interview and, and have them coming in knowing what to expect. And expectations are very important in the patient-doctor relationship. And one of my first things that I say to them is, this is a very different patient-doctor relationship than you're used to. And, and I really try to break it down. I'm down on your level. I understand. I'm just, I am someone here to help you and, and help you manage your, your condition. So going back to veterans, have you seen it change? Absolutely. It's change their lives? Yeah. Do you have like any mad. examples? Oh yeah, I have, I have tons of patients that, that would be um, um, stay at home, they couldn't go out, they wouldn't interact, they wouldn't do anything socially. They come back to me saying they're on this, they're now going to baseball games where they wouldn't, wouldn't normally venture to go do that. They're, they're going out with their spouse or their significant other, they're doing activities, they feel better, they say they're no longer having nightmares, no longer um, just stressed all the time. So yeah, that's, that's life changing to me. That, that's, and that, those are the ones that, that uh, I really, really enjoy is just seeing that that mood change and their whole attitude about life change. Life is short; you got one chance, and if you're miserable the whole time, then your existence sucks, you know. And so, if you can make someone's existence improve, that's that's what a doctor's supposed to do. Okay, we're not doing that nowadays. We're making people sick. Okay, why are we such a sick society? Because everyone's taking medications. And they're taking, they're putting things in our body that they don't, they don't need.